Okay. Let's see how this goes. MS-13 is a uh, criminal organization that has like negative six people and uh, the right scapegoats all immigrants as MS-13 members. So when someone wants to say like, oh hey, maybe we shouldn't deport and kill immigrants for no reason, the right will go, oh, what do you want MS-13 in our country? Why do you like MS-13 so much? It's just like a another scapegoat to excuse killing innocent brown people that have done nothing wrong. It's really fucking funny. People are fucking deranged. It's the same thing with like the Muslims. Anyone who looks like they're from the Middle East. Oh, we gotta ban the Muslims. Take out the Muslims. Oh, they're gonna blow up our schools. The Muslims, the Muslims. It's like, dude, like fucking get a life. But now these people are in power and they control the government. So that's cool. Phew. Somebody please tell, tell me, me I'm through with the worst of it. I do not lust. I see beauty only. I am pure. I have no passions nor male appetites. I need to turn off the internet. Fucking incels. I... I don't know. It doesn't work. Like, none of the SDCs do anything, so... I've tried Saber Dash cancel, cancel, I've tried Saber Duck cancel, they don't do anything. It's faster to just, like, mash L1. So... Well, I just don't do it because it's slower, I guess. The only way I know how to SDC is significantly slower. Like four or five seconds or so. Out of the way! Out of the way! Out of the way! Out of the way! Hello, Gamma Gamer in the YouTube chat, by the way. Wait a second. Wait a second. Are you stupid? You were in danger if you were just down. Are you connected to this incident? Incident? What are you talking about? Oh, here it comes. What's going on? But later! Right now, I have to take care of that freak! You're Zero, so you can handle this, right? I'm Axel. Call me if you need a hand. <sighs> well, 
this has become a real pain. I want a full explanation when this is all over. Not too bad. A little too slow there, I'm stupid. Bad player. Oh shit. At Magimagica. Hype yo. Try again. I just gotta find out what's gonna happen to Football Head. If you don't find Ready? out, then who knows? Might as well just Kilo. Hello, I'm Mr. Freak. Why? Why do you insist on fighting? First, I ask you, what is strength? What, what is, is war? war? For imposing one's will upon another. Precisely. Now, no more talk. Let our swords speak. Only the victors will be viewed as righteous in the odd. Warning! Warning!
Yo, thanks, Magi Car. Thank you. Try my best. You know how it is. Whoa, Mr. Freak. Mr. Freak. Stop. Stop in your tracks. Whoa! At Mr. Freak? Whoa! I forget where the fucking jump is here. There. Jesus Christ. I like how that just like escaped my fucking memory somehow. Fucking cringe. She deaf? Yeah, she's deaf and lonely.
Right, Borski. It's over. Hello, I'm okay. Garbage. You guys, remnants of the road attackers. Oh my god. You'll get it for that. Oh, so you must be the road riders then. Why you you No way. Why I are No way. Pretty stellar RNG. Well, it was. Can someone tell me exactly why the President of the United States of America is meeting with the Queen? Like, shouldn't he be, you know, I, I don't know, maybe, uh, uh, I don't know, fixing tax really? law? Or, you know, maybe, um, Can you, hear me, Zero? you know, other stuff like that. I don't feel like thinking of examples right now. But instead, he's meeting with some random bitch. Some random ass inbred moron in fucking the UK? Like if it was like the Prime Minister, sure. The Queen? What the fuck is the President of the United States gonna have to say to some random inbred loser? In the UK? Like, honestly? What is the advantage? Ready? Like, if the random inbred loser wants to come to America and see Trump in his office, sure. But for him to, like, fly out there and just to go visit the Queen, like... What the fuck? That's cringe. 
fuck queens, fuck dynasties. I'm not ignorant, I understand the queen's important. I'm stressing that the queen isn't important in objective reality. And all I care about is objective reality. If anybody cares about the queen, then you're dumb. Just plain and simple. That's just how it is. Ready? Your battleship lies at the bottom of the sea. Don't you think it's about time you made your escape? Idiot! This is all according to plan! What? You've turned this into the ideal battle. <laughs> Take this! Take this! Fucking imagine talking about the Vietnam War in Hey Arnold. Like, oh god bless that show. <laughs> like, Christ, fucking Vietnam. New world record. Hello, 514? Ready? 
Can you hear me? Eh? Childhood friends? Imagine fucking having childhood friends. Jesus Christ, you fucking privileged motherfucker. Oh, oh, it's these symptoms. Could it be? Oh, it's you that's causing my suffering. Then if, if I, I tear, tear you to pieces, pieces the, the pain, pain will stop. stop. Wait, I don't want to lose any more. Not even an enemy. Not even an enemy. Warning! Warning! The face of the regressive laugh. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? What the fuck? What gave me knockback there? Burn to the ground, Damn. Still a decent split. That was a good fight, actually. Other than the whole dying part. Oh, you done? Ah, this is why nobody likes you, Mr. Freak. Fame high in art. yeah, he's just trying to find some fame. Ready? 
I'm off, thank Chris. Come out and face me. I can see it in your eyes. You would prefer to avoid it. Yes, of course. I don't want any more people getting hurt. You really are a swell. Just stand there peacefully while I erase both you and your silly ideals. Warning! Warning! It's up to you! Hello? Jesus Christ, come the fuck on. Sarcastic gay man and much, much more. Oh my god.
I don't have a sub tank full. I thought I did. I thought I did. How did I not? That's the question. Long hair and a saber? You must be zero! You must so they be sent zero. an S class hunter to stop me, huh? But you'd need a dozen of them to beat me! How sweet. Looks like you're having a swell time swinging around your new toy. Stop treating me like a kid! Why, I oughta... I hate Calm that no more! Or you'll have to take a time out in the... Morning. This Morning. fucking game? Snipe and teacher. This is probably the best song in the game. I think someone a few days ago asked me what the best song was. I think this is it. I'm not sure if that's what I said. I might have said it, but I think this is my favorite song in the game. It's really good. Whoa! Whoa! Lazarhawk. Backing up, Mr. Freak. My true mission? 
I see data buried deep within. Is it memories of the future or false, false images, images of, of the past? past? Blue, the lies that have been Tanyan's pretty good. Gunger is pretty good too. Sealed. I don't know what you saw, and I don't care either. My true mission is to defeat you here and now. <laughs> Certainly are driven. I don't have time to listen to your prattling. Ready yourself. Warning! Warning! Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. Man, I'm bleeding out here. I'm fucking bleeding out. Yeah, it's a good song too. Ready? This is another good song. I don't know, Snipe Ant Eater. My thing with Snipe Anteater is that it's so fucking like techno and fast paced. That's why I like it so much. It's very different than a lot of the music in X Games. Ozarhawk, that's probably because when they made X6 Stage Select, they were like, we can't top this. Because they, they can't. Like, X6 Stage Select is a fucking masterpiece. Especially when you let it drift on, like 45 seconds into the song. Oh god, it's so good. God bless X6 stage select. I remember fucking, uh, when I would, like, just, like, not stream all the time, uh, like, a few years ago. So, like, I would maybe stream, you know, like, four or five hours a day, and that was it. Just whatever. Uh, a lot of my time would be just spent, like, listening to the X6 stage select song. Like, while making Doom levels, all that kind of stuff. While doing, like, Doom ILs, even, I would just jam out to the X6 stage select. It's so good.
here goes nothing. What do you think they were thinking when they made this game? They were probably thinking something along the lines of... Okay, so we want to make a 3D Mega Man game. Mega Man X game. What do we do? That's person A. And then person B is like... I don't fucking know. And then here we go. How do you feel about that, Osar Hawk? Ready? This game was what, 2004, I think? For like three years? Obviously, not all of that was dev time, though. One of my favorite memes is when people like think like, oh, X4 had the most dev time, or X5 had the most dev time, because they compare like releases between X games without factoring in like eight legends, you know, fucking all that kind of stuff. That's one of my favorite memes. God, X6 normies like don't understand fucking game development like at all. They have no idea how easy it is to like copy and paste assets in an engine. And, th and the best part is like X5 copies and pastes like almost everything from X4. Like if any game is rushed, it's X5. Like X5 is rushed as fuck. Like it, almost everything in X5 is an asset used in another game. Which is good, like I like the way it works. It works well. Like I love X5. But if you're going to talk about rushed, if you're going to talk about lack of creativity and lack of time, X5. There's your example. Or just all of the classic games would also be another good example. I gotta make a comprehensive list of X6 memes and then like good responses. That'd be cool. Yeah, like people that don't like the game dev side of X6 are just like they don't know how game dev works. Like they just have no fucking clue how game dev works at all. Like, I've got very limited experience with game dev stuff, but it's enough to know, like, the very fundamental basics. Like, for example, when you have an engine, it's not that hard to just make new levels. And just stick new enemies in. Like, that's not hard. Like, it's just so not hard. I'm done. Bleeding out, dude. I'm bleeding out. Ready? Bleeding out.
Oh, Zarhawk, you've played your fair share of X7. One thing that people love to complain about in X7 is uh, that the camera's bad. Do you have any issues with the camera in this game? Personally, I've never had like any issue with the camera. But I think that's because I know how to use a camera. Like camera turning buttons, you know? Ready? What do you think, Osarha? I don't know, I've never played it, so... It being X7, I've never played that game. I'm currently just replaying a, another run I found on the internet. Cheeky scamp. Nah, -uh. nah. -uh. It's your here goes nothing. Warning! Warning! Time to Leave switch. it to me. Ah! Nice. Fuck. Oh, wait. Ugh, you didn't like it. Hello, Zeno. Nice. BT dubs. Oh fuck, I should have filled up the explosion. That was decent.
try formation. Oh yeah, Katarn's part of the burn squad. What's your onion on that? At we Katarn? Burn squad represent. Try and dodge this. Try and dodge this. Good job. What the fuck? How do you know that, uh, Katarn? Did he tell you? Did he utter those words out loud? Imagine, like, broadcasting that to anybody. Like, man, I was hitting this girl up, yo, and then she, like, you know, like, totally ignored me, bro. Like, could you imagine saying that? Like, that's total cuck behavior. Uh, imagine telling your father that. That's even more total cuck behavior. Yeah, Dad, like, you know, man, like, I was like, you know, I was like trying to hit up this girl, man, and then she just like, didn't even look at my message, bro, like, man, I'm sorry, Dad. That Dad's probably thinking, knowing your dad, Katter, knowing your dad, Dad's probably thinking like, oh, my son is a failure. Something along those lines. You just not stop criticizing your brother? Nice. Sounds like your brother's permanently in the own zone. God, this whole thing where fucking like the traditional fucking father has to like monitor like his son's relationships to make sure that they're like doing okay and you know all that kind of stuff it's like ugh so much fucking unneeded stress and it's not just a father thing it's just like like I remember every time I saw random members of my family be like oh do you have a girlfriend and it'd be like please go away don't ever speak to me again like that whole societal expectation is just stupid Wander. Imagine wandering around the house. <laughs> oh man. Oh, do you have a girlfriend? And then it's like, when you say no, it's like, oh, why not? Jesus, fucking boomers! Boomers! Get them out! Get them out! Get them out! Go away! <laughs> fucking boomers!
Am I am I speaking too close to home, Saturn? I hate that shit. And then like, what do you what do you say to? Oh, why not? You you say something like along the lines of, oh, I don't know. And then like, and then they look at you funny, and then they go like, oh, like that weird like sense of disappointment. It's like, oh well, how school? Then they go into something else. Ugh. Is he? I didn't notice that. God, fuck boomers, dude. Well, Martha's muffins. Fuck boomers, fuck boomers. God, I fucking hate boomers. Like, honestly, like, how are you supposed to have these conversations with random dipshits that don't even know you? You know what I mean? Like, how, how am I supposed to respond to the question, why don't you have a girlfriend? All right, we like, I could give you, like, yeah, I could give you a 17-page essay about why. Or I could just tell you to fuck off. In the comfort of my own home. Like Christ Almighty, I fucking hate boomers. So it was you. You never give up, do you? Even when we break you down to scraps, you owe. That's right, folks. I'll do it again and again. I will make X and zero mine. Now come and get me. Give me a good fight. Warning! Warning! Hopefully I get some good RNG. Exactly, Katern, it's this fucking cis heteronormative garbage. My point exactly. Red, technically, oh sorry. Warning. Warning. Ready for the real thing. Here goes nothing. Barry, you don't know the struggles of the average millennial. <laughs> Here we go. Azar Hawk's pissed. God, being a fucking millennial sucks. What not? I, I, I hate this shit that fucking boomers do. Boomers go like, oh, you guys have like iPads and iPhones and like computers. I love how they always default to Apple products, by the way. Oh, uh, you should be happy. You have TVs. Yeah, but I also have like fucking several trillion dollars of fucking collective student loan debt that you've fucking given my entire generation because of your selfish fucking bullshit. Oh, uh, but you've got like oh. Call of Duty. Uh, this way. God, fuck boomers. God. Also, hey, nice PB. <laughs> I'm glad this PB has my boomer rant in it. <laughs> Dude, I fucking hate boomers. Like, every time I think, hmm, what's got me sad? Oh. Every 
boomers, that's it? God, fucking boomers, dude. Just 30 fucking more years and they're they're gonna be a fucking significant minority? That's the one minority I won't defend, I'm gonna be honest. You know how I love minorities, you know, the whole social justice thing? One minority I'm not defending, the boomers. They can go fuck themselves. As soon as they become the minority, like, completely... Sayonara. I will create a non-boomer ethnostate. Fuck boomers, dude. Holy shit. Oh god. Jesus fucking Christ. Axel, wake up. Are you okay? <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? You've got to give me some credit. Fine. Let's get out of here. I want to get sub one in this game, Mr. Freak. So I'm not done until hey, sub one. For me. That's the goal. 103.22? Eh. But why? But why? God, I love Axel. But why? Fucking. <laughs> why is Axel's voice actor just so fucking funny, dude? But why?